Hi, welcome to Technic Force Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal button and place it on your site. Let's get started. Online purchases are very common these days. If you have a business, it's best to have a website to sell your products online. You might wonder how your customers will pay you online. You can have a buy button on your website and customers can pay and send a payment directly to your PayPal account. Let me show you how to do it. Go to paypal.com and create a business account. Look for get paid with a website and click sign up for business. Choose this option and click next. Input your email address and follow the instructions to create your PayPal business account. Once you have a business account, log into your PayPal account. This is your dashboard. From the upper menus, click tools. Then click All Tools. You'll see the PayPal tools in this page. Since we need a PayPal button, click the Open button in this section. By default, you'll see sample buttons here. Let's create a new button. This is our PayPal button setup page. Step 1. Choose the button type, Buy Now. Input the item name and an optional item ID. This is useful for the tracking and inventory of products. Then choose the currency and input the price for our product. In this section, with a price or option, if you have options for the item like t-shirts having different sizes. Another option is adding a drop-down menu with just the option like in this example preview. This is the buy now button that the customers will see on your website. Next, you can add a shipping fee or just include it in the price so you can make the customers believe that the shipping fee for purchasing this product is free. Use a tax rate that applies to your state. By default, a secure merchant account ID is selected since we don't want our customers to see our email address when they check out. Step 2. Tracking of inventory. Leave this checked to protect your buttons from fraudulent changes. Track inventory. You want to click this option to prevent customers from purchasing a product that is out of stock. Remember our item ID? This is where the product ID is useful. As you can see, the item ID is automatically filled out for us. Then input the quantity in stock. Under this option, choose No Don't Let the Customers Buy the Item when the product is sold out. And you need to input the URL where the customers will be directed if they click the Buy Now button and the item is out of stock. Then let's proceed to step 3. You can let customers change order quantities if they suddenly want to purchase an additional number of items of that product. Leave this option so that customers can send a message as special instructions. Also, you need your customer shipping address to where you'll send their purchased products. Click this checkbox to direct customers to a thank you page when they finish their checkout. Then click the Create button. This is the HTML code that we need so that we can attach this button to our web page. Click the Select code and then click Copy. Let's view our website. When we click on Products, this is a sample item on our page. As we add this item to the cart, the customer will be directed to the shopping cart page where they will see the PayPal Buy Now button. Let's go to our WordPress account and access the shopping cart page. This is the editor for our shopping cart page. Let's add the HTML code that we copied a while ago from PayPal. Click the plus icon, then add a block and choose the HTML code block. Now, copy and paste the code here. If you click Preview, Here's what the PayPal button will look like in our web page. Let's click the preview button. Now here's our web page with a PayPal Buy Now button. Here's the customer's web page view. Let's try to click this PayPal button. As you can see, the button directed us to the PayPal purchase details. Here's the item description, the price and the quantity. And in this section, you'll see the business PayPal name of this account. Then click continue. The customers will be directed to this page. Here's the total amount, including the 10% tax. Let's try to log into a PayPal account. This is the Pay Now page. When I continue to click this, I can automatically purchase the product and send the payment from my PayPal account. That is how easy you can place a PayPal button on your website. Having a website for your business is essential to promote and sell your products online. The shopping cart and payment options on your website guarantees 100% payment that you will receive from your customers. PayPal makes it easy for sellers to receive payments from online purchases. You need to have a business PayPal account to create a Buy Now button on your PayPal and place it on your website. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching. If you liked this video and it was helpful, don't forget to like us, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, 
and click the notify bell to make sure you receive our fresh videos. If you have any questions, you may drop them in the comments text box and we will get you the answers. You may visit our website at technicforce.com who create cutting edge internet marketing tools to help make you a successful internet marketer, including video marketing tools, social media marketing, email marketing tools, SEO, e-commerce tools, and WordPress internet marketing plugins. Feel free to check us out.